Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to the Mente Papers YouTube channel. Today I'm sharing a beautiful summary seaside layout that I created using Mente's brand new Mediterranean Heaven collection. For this project I used the 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper set, the 27 paper elements, the 60 paper die cuts, this chipboard here, which is the Lighthouse Chippies set, I colored that with the Minte Creative Chalk Paint in white. I used the flower template stencil and I mixed the white chalk paste in with the lemon chalk paint on my project. I created this for International Scrapbooking Day. Create a layout containing at least one circle, one square and one triangle. So that was my task and this is how I created the layout. Let's get started. So this is the photo that I'm using for my layout and I'm looking at this background paper here which is the number three paper from the Mediterranean Heaven collection and I'm thinking about a border of the blue waves around the outside of the whitewashed paper that's number four in the Mediterranean papers. The challenge is a geometry challenge to create a scrapbooking layout using shapes and you have to use a triangle, a rectangle and a circle in the challenge. So I'm going to try to include those three shapes into my layout. Here I am just cutting out the middle of my square so that I don't waste this little piece of paper here that I can use later. And I'm going to trim this paper down here to 11 and a half inches so that I have just a little half inch scrap taken off the edge and that will allow me to see my blue wavy border. And then I will simply glue those together, those two pages together. So we have the whitewashed wood on top of the blue ocean page. And there's my photo that I'm scrapping and I'm going to be using the paper elements for Mediterranean heaven because it's plenty of shapes in the paper elements. There's circles, there's rectangles. So I should be able to incorporate that into the shape layer. I'm also going to be using the paper die cuts for decoration for my layout. cute little bunting flags in there and I've got this little bit out of the middle of the page that we cut out before so I'm going to use that to um, back the photograph you could choose whether you wanted the brick background or whether you wanted the blue background I'm going to go with the blue background to match the border of the page. So I'm just cutting a, a photo mat out of that paper and then I've got these this little bit of spare. I might be able to use this as my square or maybe I can use it as my triangle. That might be a bit small. Let's move for a bigger one. This could be my two triangles. that I incorporate into my layout. Just glue my photograph down onto the backing mat paper. 
I might be able to layer my square under, I might be able to layer my triangles under this and use it as photo corners for my layout. Just a little bit of glue on some cardboard and then I'll put my two triangles in behind my photo and that will be my triangle shape. My square shape I decided will be my um, 12 by 12 paper and I'll add some circles in as well. Now I wanted to add some stenciling and some mixed media effects onto my layout. So I've chosen uh, some Mente Creative uh, Lemon Paint and I've also chosen the Mente Chalk Paste. I'm going to mix a little bit of that together. So here's my chalk paste. I'm just going to scoop a little bit into this bowl here and mix it together with my lemon chalk paint so that my texture paste is going to be the right color that I wanted. I thought a nice sunshiny yellow would go well with these papers. And I decided to go with the flowers, Vintage Flowers stencil for my layout. Now I'm just going to apply that mixed up chalk paste and paint onto my stencil with a metal spatula. And I'm going to lift that up and move it down into this corner here. looks really pretty. I'm going to put that aside to dry. While I'm waiting for that to dry I'm taking this Seaside Minte Chippy and I'm going to paint this all in white with the white chalk paint. And then I'm going to push all of those little pieces out of the chippy and you do have to be a little bit careful uh, with some of the pieces that you don't give too rough you can break them so just take your time don't rush and push them all out nice and slowly or get a, la a blade to help you get them out without ruining the image that's all dry now. I've put some chippy on the back just to keep that nice and flat because it was starting to curl. I'm now going to start to build my layout. I'm going to use a circle from here for my circle and I'm going to use some tags. So just cutting a, uh, punching a hole in the top of the tag and tying some little white twine into the tag going to use these lighthouses from the chipboard as part of my embellishment for the layout. I'm going to use these beautiful flowers from the paper die cuts. I'm having one large lighthouse on that one side of the layout and then I'm going to use the smaller lighthouse on the other side of the layout on either side of my photo. I'm thinking about using the, the steering wheel of the ship as well. And any of the leftover chippy you can use on the backs of things so that you can raise things up. I'm going to use this title down the bottom here which is Seaside Escape. And I'm hoping to layer a lot of the paper die cuts into my layout so that 
it looks really pretty. So just popping my little title on down there. It broke a little bit when I got it out of the chipboard because I was too impatient. But you can't tell once you call it back together. So the steering wheel could possibly be my circle. Thinking maybe another tag at the top here. Just a little bit of um, chippy background on the back. It's this little tag slipping in there. This little paper die cut flower in the corner. I'm going to cut this one in half so that I can use it twice. I'm going to use it under the steering wheel and I'm going to use it over the steering wheel. So that will just give a little bit more dimension to my layout. And then I'm going to add those lemon flower arrangements on top. I'll probably add a little bit of cheesecloth in between just to break up the paper. gluing that cheesecloth down. Put that little lemon arrangement on top. Might add a little anchor just to give it a bit more of that balance that chipboard out. I've got two on one side so I want two on the other so that I, the photo will be the same height. lemons on top, maybe a little bit underneath there to just bring that floral cluster down a bit further. Let's pop some under there. You can add as much as you like with the floral clusters. I like to add a banner. I pop that little shell in there. A little bit of greenery just in there. And just as another little tag might be nice just to fill up that little hole there. So I've got three tags at the top. I'm thinking maybe a little bit more greenery. I'm not sure about that one. I've got this cute little starfish. How about we add that down here? Put that little starfish in there and a little bit of greenery just there. Another little starfish. Anything else that you might like to add into your clusters. I'm going to add a few little splatters of paint, some yellow splatters, and then some white splatters. There's my white splatters going on. And that's my layout completely finished. Cute little clusters, seaside escape, 
some lovely stenciling. Lots of chippies and pretty paper die cuts and paper elements all by Minte in the beautiful Mediterranean Heaven collection. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial and I hope it inspires you to get out your Minte papers, your stencils, your chalk paint and have a play for International Scrapbook Day. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to the Minte Papers YouTube channel and have a lovely crafty day.